Well, hello everybody, this is Three Dot Laws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Jerry Bird's GT500 finally figured out and running fast. Now, photo guys, regularly to the photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Three Dot Laws No Prep Gangs Race Series and all the other Three Dot Law shows. So, Jerry Bird and Daryl Bird, the Bird Brothers, came out this year with a beautiful, unique GT500 Mustang. So, it's a very nice car. It was built by Wizard Race Cars, but they have struggled all season, mostly with consistency. The car has always been fast. It just hasn't been consistent. I remember back in the second race or third race of the season that they actually beat Ryan Martin in the race their way in, but the car just wasn't consistent enough. Now, they've been testing it and changing stuff and testing and testing and testing and as of lately they went to the lot with a bunch of the uh, street out law no prep kings racers and they actually clocked the second fastest et out of the top 10 cars that actually tested there which are all fast and pk cars and galat is one of the fastest tracks in the country they really run fast times a lot so the car is fast enough to run with anybody it's just been struggling with consistency and at the last npk race they finally got a win and they won outlaw big tire they defeated doc and the car looked really fast so it does seem like after the last test session they got something figured out and this car is ready to go rounds at this season finale next week and at the qualifier races after the season six finale takes place. So I really want to see the nitrous cars stay on NPK. I don't want to see everybody go to a pro charger or to a screw blower. I want to see nitrous cars running on NPK. And Lissy did really good this season with her new nitrous car. And Jerry Bird has a combination that is extremely competitive and also david gates so hopefully these three racers remain running their nitrous setups for next season and if parity remains good we're going to continue to see nitrous cars running on npk that's another reason why you can't let loose the screw blown cars or the pro charger cars because if you let them loose with the rules especially the screw blown cars there's not going to be any more nitrous cars left because they make the least amount of horsepower compared to those other combinations. So they get to be lighter than everybody else, but you just can't get the other combos a weight break and get them a lot faster because then the few nitrous cars won't be relevant anymore. And nitrous cars are also a lot tougher to tune. So hopefully Jerry Bird does good in the Invitational class at the last NPK race and also at the qualifier races for next season. That would be awesome to see Jerry do good in the Invitational. That car is fast enough for sure. It just needs to be a little bit more consistent, and I believe they finally have this car figured out.